Hello everyone. So today I'm going to explain you how the SSL or TLS connection works. Okay. So anytime we see a HTTPS connection, HTTPS. So what does this S stands for? S stands for secured. So how does it secure a connection? So secured connection is because of SSL. Currently, it is called as TLS. So you can go through a Google search for SSS versus TLS. So TLS is basically a upgrade over SSL, and it gives you better security features and uh, some. There were some uh, vulnerabilities that were discovered for SSL, which are not present in TLS. Okay. So I'll tell you the whole life cycle of the SSL connection. So how SSL connection works. So to understand how SSL works. We have to understand two different terminologies. So the things are asymmetric cryptography and what symmetric cryptography. So now, what is the difference between a symmetric and asymmetric cryptography? Symmetric cryptography means you know. A way to encode things, and the receiver knows how to decode things, and both will be done using the same function. As in, let's say you have to encode something and send it in an encrypted manner to someone else. Okay, so whatever function you use, the same function will be used at the receiver's end to decrypt it. So now, what does asymmetric cryptography mean? It means Let's say you have to send a message to your receiver, but you will use a publicly available function that is given by uh, that you have to use just a publicly given uh, function, but only and only the receiver can decrypt it with a separate function that is only used for decrypting it. Okay, so in symmetric cryptography, you have a concept of public key. Plus private key. So private key always remains with one person, but public key is given to all the persons available who can uh, who want to talk with this fellow. Okay, so this is with all people, all people. Okay, now I will tell you how the <coughs> asymmetric uh, connection and the, both the symmetric connection are used for uh, SSL connection. So when we so when we do a http s request okay so this request will first go to our server okay so they need to talk in a private manner without anyone snooping into this connection so how does it happen so uh, you might have seen on top of browsers you would have a green color lock so when you click on that lock we'll see some certificate so certificate is nothing but uh, it has some information about your server uh, which says your server is a genuine server and it has a public key information for uh, this server that means any client who wants to talk with this server has to first use that public key so why is that public key used so when you hit this server, the server responds back with a public key. <clears throat> Using that public key, your client tells, I want to talk with the server using some algorithm, some encryption algorithm, only which so using the public key it will send the algorithm to the server now your server knows what algorithm to use and he, the server will decrypt it server will decrypt decrypt it using the private key private key private key and then it will use whatever algorithm then it will make a symmetric connection symmetric 
connection between both of them and then the whole SSL connection is finished.